Welcome back to the channel of Van. I hope you're doing absolutely well. This is Eddie back with another video. So today it's gonna be the review of the Havaco's official based on Android 10, the latest build on the Redmi Note 3 Pro. So without any further ado, let's now get started. So here is my Redmi Note 3 running the Havoc OS official and the latest build. Let me first show you the about device section. So guys, this is gonna be a short review because I have already reviewed Havoc OS previously on my channel. So you can check that. I'll have some links in the description or you can just check my channel. And talking about the about device section, so going into the Android version, it's obviously Android 10 over here as you can see. And hardware keys are enabled by default over here. That's really nice. Security patch is of latest August 5, 2020 and the build date is of August 25, 2020. This is the latest build at least at the time of recording this video. Kernel version here it says 3.10.108 Shine Lotus it says over here and as you can see if you want any other information you can pause the screen and have a look at it. Tapping on the Havoc version doesn't do anything and the Havoc logo. So talking about other stuff this is pretty much similar to the older builds there are no any major changes done over here. So talking about the advanced control too here it is. You can enable fast charging from here so without enabling this if you use for charging i mean if you connect a fast charger then it will not charge fast it will just charge normally double tap to wake let us try it out it should work and it also gives haptic feedback that's really nice so talking about other stuff gaming performance it says over here whether you change no matter on what you put this one like on performance or battery or gaming it's the same I should say because on performance there is a little bit change in PUBG performance but still it's like unplayable in these rooms. PUBG is just unplayable on Redmi Note 3 I can say because I will show you that in a moment. The gameplay what I have done on this room. Digital well-being is over here. Let me show you that. And as you can see over here. So this is my today's usage. It says PUBG the most, Geekbench and other stuff. So talking about other stuff like the security and location fingerprint scanner is working absolutely well let me show you that really quick and yes you have to wait for one or two seconds after locking the device like previous build lock the device one two three and it recognizes and face unlock should be there okay it was somewhere here yes here it is i haven't set it up so let's just try it out i'm wearing a headset again and face is too blurry okay done let's try it out yes it works absolutely well as you can see so you need to have good lighting in order to make it work that's what it is and talking about the display option here are all the stuff like the night light etc is present double tap to wake is also present over here i have already enabled that previously as i shown you earlier here are all the customization options i have already reviewed all of these in the previous rom reviews so you can check that out i'll not go in depth regarding these over here Buttons and navigation, as you can see here, they are all the thing what you need. You can customize your hardware keys. I mean, remap them if you want to. Status bar, here it is. And I have enabled battery percentage next to the icon. It comes disabled by default. As you can see over here, a couple of stuff. Also, the network traffic monitor was enabled by me. So talking about Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and VoLTE. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi is working absolutely well. Hotspot also works well. Volti, I don't know that because Volti is broken on my device as I have told in previous ROM reviews too. If anybody is using this build and if Volti is working, I would really appreciate if you comment it down in the comment section. It would be really helpful for me. So talking about the performance, okay, I accidentally opened PUBG over here. And let me show you the Geekbench. And again, I don't know what's wrong with me over here. So going into the Geekbench and showing you my history. As you can see, again, similar scores over here, 864 on multi-core, 294 on the single core over here. Performance is pretty much similar to older builds, no any like performance improvement over here. It's like lagging a little bit here and there in the system, but still it's working fine. No major lags whatsoever, but PUBG performance is not great at all. As you can see over here, it is slightly better than other ROMs what I have reviewed, but still PUBG gameplay is not at all good in these ROMs, even in the Havoc OS and the ROMs which I have previously reviewed. PUBG is not working absolutely well in this one. I was unable to download TDM for some reason. It was giving some error. I retried like a couple of times, but still it was giving error still. PUBG is like not that great as you can see on the screen. So talking about the camera application guys, as you can see here is the camera app. And this is again that camera app which is like highly modified over here. 
I need to check 4K video recording in this one. It should work fine by the way because as per the chain lock there was no any issue related to 4K as you can see. The brightness is a little bit low while recording the video but it's because of the lighting mostly. Yes and it works well no issues with that too. So talking about the battery life let me show you my battery graph really quick. So going into the battery and the battery graph as you can see this is my usage for first one day whole one day it was on standby and as you can see that was standby drain over there and this is my usage over here pubg it says over here 31 minutes 11 percent this is like not 100 percent accurate but still it's near to accurate i can say use for five minutes nope i used it more than five minutes and one percent of drain this is also not correct again over here so youtube was draining somewhere around usual battery life 2 to 3 percent for somewhere around 15 minutes i can say 15 to 20 minutes too and pubg 2 or 3 percent for one tdm tdm was not working in this one so for the time what tdm match takes place i played same timing in livic and it was draining similar battery life over there in a nutshell battery life in this rom is also pretty much similar to older builds it's like not extremely good or it's not like horrible or anything like that it is good and it is usable in most of the part so talking about other stuff like applications i have installed as you can see pubg is installed by me youtube geekbench apart from that all other apps can pre-installed with this rom so this was a quick little review of the havoc os official running on the redmi note 3 so that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this also do follow me on instagram link is in the description or it's appearing somewhere on the display this is all about technology 20.7 signing off for the moment you guys have a great day. Peace.